Yarn. Yarn 11. Brick Lane. One free Papa Dom? I'm moving on. Two free drinks, two Papa Dom. I've already gone. I pass the big blue-eyed leaflet distributor on the corner. She's bored, bald, and beautiful. I'm distracted, so I get caught by the kebab man. Excuse me, sir, he says. Do you want to make a donation to the donor kebab fund? He does this every day if I don't dodge him. You got me yesterday, I say. So I did, mate. I'll be on my way. And off he goes without delay. Stuck in his own groundhog day. I'm halfway there. I step around the tiny, shiny canisters of air thrown on the ground like discarded silverware. Sitting on the pavement is a man with a sign. It reads, punch me in the face for five pounds. He already looks like he's done nine rounds. Hello gorgeous, shouts the woman on crutches. She's all dressed up, not a hair out of place, but drug addiction takes its toll on her face. Buy me a drink, I hear her ask. Not tonight, I say, I can't. Fuck you then, you fucking prick, she gestures with her walking stick. New shops on Brick Lane are sure signs of gentrification. They pop up and down in a constant rotation. Shops for bow ties, ukuleles, and items I'd consider immaterial, and one cafe that just sells breakfast cereal. Just a few more strides and I'll be home for the night. I walk by the phone booth. A man bursts out wearing a suit. I overhear his plea to a pedestrian plodding past. Please, he says. Do you have a few pence? I really need to phone my wife. My mobile has lost its battery life. The good Samaritan hands over their cash. The man slams the door closed with a crash. He's a phony. I see him here every evening. Is what he does thieving or merely deceiving? I'll leave him to it. I'm not intervening. I'm a couple of feet from reaching my flat when a woman in distress crosses my path. In broken English, she shouts, Help, hospital, man bleeding. I hesitate at first, but end up seeding. A cyclist stands with his bike in the street. His arm is bloodied like a raw piece of meat. I've had an accident, he says. Can you give me some cash for a cab? 
I need urgent assistance. The hospital is quite a distance. I've seen that very same gash before. Not two weeks ago, outside my front door. It's been two weeks and you're still hurt. How many times since then have you hit pay dirt? The man jumps on his bike and pedals out of sight. The woman looks shocked at how quickly the hurt man took flight. I've run the gauntlet and arrived at my destination. I'm thinking about my bed and sleep in anticipation. My flatmate stopped me on the stairs. We're off for a drink, one of them declares. There's a new bar open down the road. Why don't you come with us, he elbowed. I was determined to have an early night, stay in, sleep and dream. But after that dash home, now I'm in the mood to blow off some steam. Let's go, I say. We walk back out on the cobble terrain. Who knows what'll happen tonight on Brick Lane. This has been a story for yarnpodcast.com Written and narrated by John Roach With sound and music design by Kieran Dumphy.